This is my garden pond. I haven't got any fish in there. If I did, I think I'd probably be targeting them at the moment. It is an amphibian pond though, and we have common frogs, occasionally common toads. We've also got a breeding colony of smooth newts. This is the time of the year though, when I give it a, a scoop to get rid of all the dead leaves and the vegetation that's dropped in over the winter months so that the pond can then get back. As you can see, it's all horrible uh, brown there. The pond can then get back to where I want it to be. I'm taking out some of the, the weed, as you can see there. That'll go back in uh, later. And then all the, the gunge, I'll put that there for now and I'll sort that out in due course. Oh, <laughs> what was I saying about the, uh, uh, the, the, the newts there? Let me show you that, put that one on the, on the net there. A smooth newt, <laughs> that one's going back into the water. Give it a few scoops. Oh, as you can see, it's not very, not very nice there. Uh, quite, quite muddy. Making sure there's no more uh, newts in there because my chicken's hanging around at the moment and if uh, there are, then I'm sure she'll pick them off. But the water temperature's quite cold at the moment. It hasn't started to warm up and this isn't a, a place that gets a lot of sun anyway in the early part of the year. So it should be, should be okay for now. Maybe just a, a few uh, newts that have put in an appearance but mostly it's just the, the mud and the dead leaves that are coming up. Another newt. I found three, so they are beginning to return. Give it another month or so though. There will be quite a significant number here in the pond. So I'll be back for another blog entry. As they say, watch this space. And if you've got an area in your own garden, why not build a small pond like I've done and help our amphibians along the way.